and welcome to Pleasance News. This year's festival got officially underway this week with the Pleasance press launch, showcasing some of this year's most exciting and hotly anticipated acts. Local and international press were kept thoroughly entertained by an extraordinary selection of free biscuits. Uh, not to mention the talent, including Reese Darby, Adam Kay, and the boy with tape on his face. Why black tape? An insightful interview there with a boy with tape on his face. Where does he get that name from? I believe it's a Dutch name, actually, Ivan. Yeah, in Dutch it means gaffer tape attached to a boy. So more or less the same thing, but just, just in reverse. In other news, Eddie Izzard caused a bit of a stir when he blew into the Pleasance Courtyard this week and promoted a number of his hotly tipped acts. Michael is a German comic. He's one of the top German comics, Michael Mittermeier. He's wanted to come over and do it in English. So I said, well, you know, I'll, I'll back you. I'll, I'll encourage that and I, I sort of gave them some advice said go to Edinburgh and so this is now happening Trevor Noah he's one of the few comics in South Africa with a mixed black and white audience and I don't really want to single out even these two guys because they, they, they will take care of their own careers they don't actually need me in this thing but what I do like is encouraging humor to work around the world. The astonishing Eddie Izzard there, who amazed people in the courtyard by performing an entire stand-up set in French. What's more amazing is he managed to sell out 80 seats in one night. So there you have it, proof that live comedy is in a robust state. Please, keep supporting it. Now, who said the king is dead? And we're not talking about Elvis. <laughs> no, we now go to the Pleasance Grand where our political correspondent, Alistair Shoes, is what, live what, what, a very what? special- Elvis is dead? Yes, he's been dead for years. Oh, on the toilet. Really unpleasant. I need to call my mum. No. Um, we now go to our political correspondent, Alistair Shoes, who's reporting live from the Pleasance Grand. Hello, Alistair. Thanks for that, Max and Ivan. And I'm here outside the Pleasance Grand, live on location. Are you all right? Wait, pardon? Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm here live on location. And the wife all right? What, the, what, my wife? No, she's, she's good, I'm yeah. good. We're, we're good okay. together, both, both well. Cool. Um, we're fine, thank you. We've just heard I'm about the affair, location. that's all. Okay, what? Okay, no, listen, it was that there were just a couple of friends and things got out of hand and sometimes people play squash without any clothes on, Ivan. That's just a thing that happens between two adults. It's a sport. It's not an Olympic sport, but it is a sport and it's one that they've been playing on and off for the last seven years. Place. And you know what? Fair play to them. I'm not that athletic. Mark apparently is, if the Polaroids are anything to go by. But it doesn't matter. I'm here live on location here at the Pleasance Grand uh, with none other than King Henry VIII. Now, it's an absolute pleasure to, to be joined with you today, sir. Is Good that, to see is you that Absolute honour. I don't know whether I should bow or just. If don't, you like, uh, yeah. well, well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. He's not stable. No, he's sleeping uh, in his car. What, what, what reeks of booze. I haven't seen him change his socks in over a month. Does he have socks? What, what, would you, what would you do if you discovered that your wife had just been cheating on you once or uh, two, three, uh, three? Times. Oh, I'd only let it go the once. <laughs> Just chop the head off. Chop the head off, that's funny. Yeah. Really, I, mean, but... I caught him shaving with a fork this morning. Really upsetting to watch. Yeah. Yesterday I walked in on him literally screaming at a tin of beans. Yeah, no, why mess about? Just go straight in with the, with the guillotine. Yeah. Why won't you love me? Oh, you're I was right. saying to them, yeah. right. empty tin. Get, getting ahead of myself. Uh, oh, never mind. Anyway, uh, back to you in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for that, Alistair. Now, an audience was left stunned last night when a comedian died during a live performance here at the Pleasance. Guy just like shot our comedian and like ran out the door, and it was kind of frustrating because like that wasn't, a, you know, it, you know, he wasn't building up to that. So I don't know what to do now. Like Cambridge Footlights want to get in. They say I got to sort of clear him off the stage, but you know, do it yourself. If there's any members of the uh, public out there who can help us fill in. Uh, Joe Slot, we've got like an opening. You just read it off an auto queue at the back of the room, you know, because we, we're going through a slot at the rate of knots. A number of eyewitnesses described the assailant as being about five foot seven with a moustache and a brown blazer emblazoned with the logo of the school that he went to and should be approached with extreme caution. Let's just cut to the weather, shall we? Thank you very much, Max and Ivan. Here I am, it's the weather and it is the GSM report. We're here at the Edinburgh Fringe. We've got flyers coming in from left and right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We've just had reports that the American High School are gonna come in with a six hour rendition of Les Mis in a free venue in Glasgow. So please do expect some very low quality flyers printed in black and white 
on Take day that, you 30 wanker. paper. Now, if you stick to the Pleasant's Courtyard or the Dome, you will be met with some high quality, thick GSM flyers. I've got an example here. I've got Max and Ivana con artists every day, 3.30 at the Pleasant's Courtyard. This has been the GSM report. Jesus Christ, that would hit me in the face. What are you trying to do? You're demeaning me. <laughs> Power. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been Max and Ivan here for Pleasant's News. Yeah, and remember, if you're having trouble getting into Brooks Bar, simply sleep with Dan on the door. <laughs> it worked for us. Bye. Bye.